Welcome to the video by DJ's BRC. We're back with Project Cherokee. And before we start a little bit further, I want to say this video is brought to you by Great Hobbies. www.greathobbies.com. Go check out the website, it's awesome. On our last video that we had, we were at the step 20 finishing building up this transmission here. Now we're at step 21 uh, and step 21, 22. Step 23 here in the physical bill, I will skip. I'm not gonna install the motor right away, but let's put the slipper clutch and the motor mount on the transmission itself. Here's the pieces you'll need. And we do have the cover and physical pads here. This guy will go on top of here. There's only one way it can go on. Then you'll grab your motor. Again, these two holes will, will align. If I'm pointing it correctly, should I say? And you'll have three physical screws. You have to do this step before going for your slipper. I'm just gonna grab my my drill with my two mil. I'm just going to make sure because I didn't go all the way in. But I know in these plastic here, uh, basically would have been a little bit longer by hand. Now we do have the spur here, the plates, the slipper pads. We do have our spring here. The only thing I'm missing is my nut. That should be in the bottle. Go grab it in a second here too. Now on a physical uh, spur itself, it, ha it comes with a sleeve, plastic sleeve. I'm gonna do a small upgrade here. I'm gonna put a bearing. Now if I remember correctly, the size of the bearing is 5.11 by four. Let's see if the, the book mentions it here. It doesn't, if I remember correctly, it is that size. It's just going to be a little bit better for in the middle when it turns instead of being a plastic sleeve. Now what we're going to do, we'll put one of our pads, for pads, but the plate. These guys here, the physical company says to glue them on the pad, put a pad on the spur, should I say. You can. The other thing too, you just maybe not just install them directly, but I remove the two-way and put it in. Did it? Did it? Come on. Align it in between the holes. There we go. The bearing first, put the spur. Now you'll notice these, the physical washer here, it's keyed. There's only one way it goes in. And we're physical with our nut. We're gonna go tight it, I'll grab my wrench. Now, you're gonna to want to hold the spur while you're turning. 
Now see, if you don't physically, everything turns. You want to tight this, tighten this guy until you can't tighten no more without forcing it. So she's fully tight. And back up about a quarter of a turn. Now, if you're asking me why you want to back it up, is let's say something happens, you'll give a little bit more slippage, more chance to slip instead of uh, physically rounding off your, your spur. And we have a cover that goes on top. I'm not going to screw it in. Simple reason, I'll need to remove it a little bit, a little bit, later, a little bit later on. <clears throat> if you guys have any questions or comments, post them below. I'll be glad to answer you guys. Don't forget to subscribe. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up. And don't forget to hit that bell notification in the corner if you want to be notified next time I upload a video. Thank you for watching.